Five years ago, an opportunity came up through Karangamite CMA for some coastal tender funding that Parks Victoria could apply for. And we saw some real opportunity being a five year locked in funding cycle uh, to do some really good work on some of our, our high quality coastal vegetation. So we applied for the coastal tender uh, and were successful with our bid for two sites in the surf coast area of Great Otway National Park. So long here was really heavily infested with blackberry um, and that's been a, a bit of a win for us. The, the constant spraying over a number of years has really knocked those blackberry back. So the majority of our works with the funding has been woody weed removal um, and some blackberry spraying. So the woody weeds we've been focusing on are bone seed and sweet potostrum and we've got fairly large infestations of both in the sites that we, we chose and we've made a real impact on those um, infestations over the five years. Here at Shiaok Falls we've made a real impact on the blackberry um, and we're really reducing its area of mass but it's not just about killing weeds either, it's about allowing the native vegetation to grow back and it's going to have a real chance now to, to um, re-establish as it should be. Bone seed's so persistent with that seed bank in the soil and we, we have trouble having enough resources to follow up bone seed year after year, but this coastal tender program has enabled us for five years to really get on top of that bone seed. You've got to keep going at it and going at it. So. Um, we've had really good success with the blackberry and, and the kaiku, but for me, the bone seed is, is what I, I'm just really surprised and, and impressed how, how we've basically eradicated it in parts. So this is pretty indicative of, of the site we've been working on. Um, it was very thick with bone seed and looking through there now, unfortunately, I can see two small bone seed, but that's when we continue to follow up and they're relatively easy to sweep through and, and clean those seedlings out. Our aim is really to protect and enhance the biodiversity of this site and for the CMA to assist us in doing that, the management plan was really good in some tailored management actions for the specific threats that existed here. So we could really get some specific and measurable um, actions that we could perform on those species um, that in turn we can pass on to our contractors to use. And, and that information just makes, makes sure that the work we are doing is effective. So that tailored for the site uh, information is really good. Working with the one contractor on this project has been quite inspirational. The, the contractor has taken ownership of this site and, um, and he, I swear he would come back and follow this up off his own bat really. He has done so much work in here and he's had the opportunity to see it improve substantially. So just having that relationship between the CMA, between Parks Victoria and between a contractor who's just taken ownership of the site and it's, it's been really good to be involved with. Now it's up to us to, to carry on the maintenance of this site, but we will have capacity to do that. We wouldn't have had capacity to do the, the heavy lifting we've done over the last five years to get the site to where it is. But now we've got it to a point where it's purely maintenance work. We can come in every year and do an amount of maintenance and follow up, and hopefully just this site will keep in the, in the state it's in, which is great.